I made this mini tank when I was 15 and I always want to make it better. In this video I will be making this remote control miniature tank which can also fire a projectile. My plan is to make the circuit first and build the body of the tank around it. Link to the circuit diagram and Arduino code can be found in the description. I will explain the circuit components in short. Drive motors are two 9 gram servos converted to gear motor. Also I have removed the circuit from the servo and gearing is changed to increase the output speed. Brain of the circuit is an Arduino Nano. Two speed controllers are used for the motors, a Bluetooth module to receive signal from the mobile, a modified 3.7 gram servo to rotate the turret and a MOSFET for controlling the firing mechanism. Ignition for the firing mechanism is a thin fuse wire bridge across the output wire from the MOSFET. Once the circuit is finalized, measurements are taken and body of the tank is designed in Fusion 360. I have used diagrams of T14 Armata as reference while designing. Most of the parts are 3D printed in PLA and load bearing suspension components are printed in ABS. Spring for the suspension is taken from an old winding toy car and axle is made from a 4mm stainless steel tube. All 16 idle wheels are made from PLA and the drive wheels are made from ABS. Wheel stops are also 3D printed in ABS. After assembling the idle wheels, two drive motors are fixed. Then both halves of the body are glued together. A 3D printed circuit holder is also glued in the middle. A micro USB port is added in the back for charging the battery. My first plan for the track was to use 3D printed links, but it turns out that my printer doesn't have enough accuracy to print those small parts. Then plan B was to use GT2 belt to make the track. But it came out too stiff, so I went with tracks made with ID card tag having rubber strips glued in the middle. Now I have two big problems, track is slipping from the drive wheel and drive motors are stalling because they don't have enough torque. Guess what, because I changed the gearing. So I dismantled everything and swapped the drive motors with a new one without changing the gearing. Also I tested off different type of drive wheels and ended up using one with spikes.
miraculously it worked like a charm now let's make the top part of the tank After spray painting it, motor for rotating the turret is also fixed. Turret is driven by internal gearing. Power supply for the firing mechanism is also taken through the cover. The firing mechanism has three main components. Barrel is made from a stainless steel straw. Barrel and chamber have locking legs and can be locked by rotating 30 degree. When power is supplied, fuse inside the cartridge will burn the propellant firing the projectile. Main part of the cartridge is taken from an old Christmas light. I am highlighting each part in the diagram while I am making it. Matchstick heads are used as propellant. Both the white colored part and projectile are 3D printed in ABS. Diameter of the projectile is 4.5 mm. Chamber has two brass contacts to give power to the cartridge. Strut doesn't have full 360 degree rotation due to the wires to the firing mechanism. I am using a blank cartridge to do a test fire. I have added few extra things just for aesthetics. Tank weighs a total of 375 gram. Top cover can be screwed in place or press fitted. Let's take a thumbnail and make a Michael Bay style outro. 